Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about how insulin surges or diabetes or fluctuating blood sugar will impact female hormones. So we're going to get right into it, okay? So when we look at insulin surges in women, we're talking about a specific condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. It occurs in a, a small percentage of women, but what happens is this condition will increase um, insulin resistance. So you're going to have a development of insulin resistance, especially if you're on a high sugar diet. And what happens is insulin will start to spike because the resistance to insulin. So basically your um, pancreas will create insulin to take sugar out of the system and put it into the cells. But if the cells become resistant to insulin, more insulin will be produced, causing insulin surges. Insulin surges, high levels of insulin, will upregulate a hormone in the ovaries, the fecal cells of the ovaries, called 1720 lidase. This, in turn, will convert female hormones, such as estrogen, into testosterone and DHEA. So what happens with this condition is, even in young women in 17, 18 years old, they'll start to develop uh, little whiskers, right? A little hair growth, because they have increased levels of testosterone and DHEA. That in itself will increase insulin resistance, and then back to insulin surges. So if you look at this diagram, this vicious cycle can occur in young women and women of, of menstruation where high sugar diets will promote insulin resistance, insulin surges, insulin surges or high levels of insulin in our system will upregulate our hormone, right? And then you're going to get a conversion of estrogen, testosterone, and DHEA, making them more man-like, quote unquote, right? more uh, male-like features, hair growth and so forth, and testosterone levels. So insulin resistance, insulin surges, and this constant upregulation of the hormones. And you basically, be, because of sh uh, sugar dysregulation, you can develop more male hormones in women, right? This is a very important fact that is overlooked in terms of how it's being managed and treated in the conventional medicine. So it's very important that women understand that this is not a, um, a normal thing or nor they should just uh, take a medication for it. It's very important to help regulate this system, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.